Characteristics of trigonometric functions. Question 3. Determine y-intercept of following functions. So let's first understand what is y-intercept. Let's say we have a sine function like this, right? And, uh, and let me just draw some axes somewhere. Let's say that's my x-axis and that's my y-axis, right? In that case, a point where the graph crosses y-axis is called the y-intercept. And you will note that at y-intercept, this is my y-axis, that is my x-axis, right? At y-intercept, the value of x is 0. So that is kind of very important to understand. So at y-intercept, so we have at y-intercept, x is equal to 0. That is what it is. So to find a y-intercept is literally substituting 0 for x and then finding the what? Finding the value of the function. For example, Question 1a is gx equals to sine x minus 2. So to find y-intercept, we'll put x as 0. So we get g of 0. That means the value of function at 0, which is y-intercept, is equal to sine of 0 degrees minus 2. And what is sine of 0 degrees? At 0, sine is 0. So it is 0 minus 2. So we get a value of minus 2 units. So my y-intercept is minus 2. So that is what y-intercept is, correct? So that is how you're going to find y-intercept for the given equations. Now equation number 2 is f of x equals to 3 cos 2 times x minus 30 degrees minus 1. And c is y equals to minus 2 cos of 3x minus 60 degrees plus 1. I'll do b for you, right? So as you understand, y-intercept is a point where x is equal to 0. x equals to 0 means y-intercept. Okay, as you've seen here. Now, so that means we'll plug in 0 for x and we should get y-intercept. So for this equation, it is cos of 2 times 0 minus 30 degrees minus 1, which is equal to 3 times cos of so 0 minus, minus 60 degrees, right? Minus 60 degrees minus 1. Now you can always use your calculator to figure out what this answer is, right? So you can do cos of minus 60 degrees minus 1. Or 60 degrees you can do with your special triangles also. Let's use the knowledge of special triangles to figure out the answer for here. Let me draw this 60 degrees special triangle for you here. So it's kind of like this. For 60 degrees, which is this 60 degrees, it is 2, 1 and square root of 3. That is, that's first part. And the second part is how to do minus of 60 degrees. Well, for minus of 60 degrees, let's think like this. Now, minus means you're going in clockwise direction. So you are in this quadrant. But cos is positive in this quadrant. Correct? You remember the cos rule. C a s t right and therefore it is positive so this could be written as let me write it here it is same as cos of 60 degrees so this will be same as this because for cos edges inside that means along the x-axis it is positive so we get this as 3 cos of 60 degrees minus 1 correct and now, cos of 60 degrees is 1 over 2, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse in this special triangle. So we can write 3 times half minus 1, correct? 3 times half is 1.5 and 1.5 minus 1 is 0 0.5 or you can write this as 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2 which is half or same as 0 0.5 either way, right? So you get x-intercept at 0 0.5, right? Now, the important thing is you could write x in, oh, sorry, y-intercept at 0 0.5. So you can write here y-intercept at minus 2 or you could give a coordinate point 0 for x and minus 2 for y. Similarly here, you could write your answer as 0 and 0 0.5. Do you understand? So that is how we can give the answer for such question. Part C, I'll leave that for you to do. So you need to do what? 
plug in zero here, right? And you get a similar cos of minus 60 as we did, right? But this is minus 2. Take care of that and then add 1 to get your y-intercept. So I hope you understand how to find y-intercept from a given equation. Got it? So my question for you is find x-intercept. You should now find x-intercept. right for both these equations rather three equations right this one I'm leaving for you you need to find y-intercept on your own following the steps which I did for question B right find x-intercepts for each of these given equations if you have difficulty you can always write your comments and I have the next few videos coming on x-intercepts okay that should help you thank you